to my channel. We're starting the brows off with Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit Cosmetics. It's very similar to the brow is and I actually really really like it. It blends out pretty pretty nicely. So I'm going to be starting with the front of the brow kind of doing short flicks upwards and then I'm going to bring it towards the back towards the tail where I have the most sparse hair as you guys can see and I feel like that hair is just never gonna grow back. I've been using the Bravo by Benefit but I just feel like it's just a hopeless cause. But anyways I'm taking 3D brow tones in shade 3 and I'm just going to give my brows a little bit dimension and then I'm going to conceal them using shape tape in light medium honey with a flat brush and I make sure not to use too much product that's why I dot little areas and then just blend it out with my finger. To prime the eyes I'm using Painterly Paint Pot by MAC and a P80 brush just to kind of blend that onto the lid and make sure it's fully covered towards the tail of the brow. And I'm using the new Tartlet palette, the Tartlet 3 Toasted palette. It is absolutely gorgeous, has the most beautiful colors for a neutral lover. And I'm using Latte with an E30 from Sigma and just blending that out into the crease. This is going to be our basic transition color. And we're just going to blend that out as much as possible, going towards the tail of the brow as well. So I'm loving the palette. I have to say it's gorgeous. Probably, hmm, I don't know if I love Tartlet in Bloom more or this one. But I will say I'm a little disappointed in the pigment of the mattes. I wish they weren't, you know, so um, dusty, I guess you would say. There's a lot of fallout. Um, but besides that, they do blend beautifully. And I just wish there was just a little bit more pigment. You can see I have to just keep kind of picking up. Um, right now I'm using Cozy in the Outer V with an E36, but I wanted the colors to show up a little bit darker than they did, which is fine. I guess you just have to kind of pack it on a little bit more, but we're going to be doing a half cut crease or just really a cut look. I'm not going to really call it a cut crease because, I mean, I guess I should because it technically is, but I just really like the way this look comes out like when you do the concealer in the crease like this. I'm using Shape Tape in Light Medium Honey. I would start out with using just a dot and then if you feel like you need to use more, depending on what you're putting on top of it, totally do that. That's what I did here. Put one layer and then I put on another just so it was super, super clean and bright. So when I put the shadow on it, it'll look nice and beautiful. So I'm just blending that out, making sure that is nice and clean. I'm using a cut crease brush by Sigma. Swear by it. Get it if you have not gotten it yet. I'm using Simmer and I'm going to put this on the center lid using the same brush. And the metallics are just absolutely gorgeous. The pigment of the metallics are insane. And they always are from Tarte. So I just was very, you know, happy with that. Now with the E52, I'm taking Candle. And I'm just putting this in the inner corner. I picked up this big brush and didn't realize how big it was, but it actually really blended out the shadows really nicely because it kind of hit the inner lid and the center lid, so I was actually happy with that. I'm going back in with the E36 just to kind of sharpen that line, and I'm using Cozy to do that. I always like to go back in and deepen the contrast by the crease just so it looks super cut and clean. Now taking Fireside, I'm slightly smoking out the outer V, just kind of patting with an E38 and then just blending again with the E36, just so it all comes together. Now taking the Tarte Tardis Clay Paint Liner, I'm using a Tarte Liner Brush just to kind of do a little wing here. I love this liner. I like forgot how much I loved it, so I just started using it like crazy again. I also take Spirit Animal, this clay pot liner by Tarte, and I just put it on the outer wing area, just to kind of jazz it up, but I jazz it up even more later, you guys will see. Using Tardis Mascara on the lashes, you guys know, it's my favorite. For lashes, we're using Gigi Bell Lashes in Baby Love. I only have a couple of these left, so if you guys are interested in buying, I definitely would go to the website now and shop because I'm deciding which ones I'm gonna are gonna come back and which ones I'm going to get rid of. So, Baby Love might not come back, so get it while you can. <laughs> For the face, I'm using the Cover Effects Illuminating Primer 
with Fendi Beauty Pro Filter Foundation, which is my obsession right now. It just looks so amazing. It, the coverage is insane. The look, it looks like your skin. It's just, it's perfect, perfect foundation. And I am just so happy that I finally got it because I wasn't going to. So I'm happy that I did. For concealer, I'm using Tarte Medium and Light Medium Honey Shape Tape. And we're just gonna do some fun little dots to brighten up these areas. And then I'm using the old uh, Tarte Quickie Blending Sponge, which is still one of my favorites. I'm just going to blend everything out on the nose, on the cheeks, and just kind of pat, pat, pat everything out. I love this blender. I wish that they kept this one because it was just so dense and perfect. Now I'm using Mascara Beauty. Um, I'm using Stone Contour by The Contoured Life. This was given to me by her. I'll give you guys her information below. I absolutely love this contour and the way it came out. It's a cream contour and they give you a brush as well. And it just looks so natural. It blends out beautifully. You can see the difference immediately when I put it on one cheek. You can see how much it sculpts my face without it looking gray, without it looking too orange, anything like that. It just literally gives that shadow and that shape to the face and I just absolutely love it and I'm going to be using it much more because I wasn't sure how it was going to be um, because I never really heard of the brand before until um, Brittany is her name. She approached me about it and I just absolutely love it. The nose as well, blending it out with my finger, but it's just like the perfect contour color. It's has a little bit of a red tone in it, but nothing crazy. And it's got that gray tone for that perfect shadowing. To set the concealer and highlight, I'm using Kat Von D's Translucent Powder. I'm not gonna go all the way up to the cheekbone, like towards the ear, because I'm going to be using a cream blush and highlight. So I'm just going to be putting that there. And going to be sculpting the under cheekbone area too. For warming up the cheeks, I'm using the KKW Beauty Contour Kit in medium. And I'm just using an old Sephora brush to do this. This is like an old contour brush that I have had for like eight years. So you guys, like your brushes can last as long as you take care of them and clean them. They can last forever. So I'm doing that, blending that down the neck. And then I'm taking an F25 brush from Sigma and just blending out all of the baking powder that I put on. Now I'm using the shade Desert Sunset by Mascara Beauty. And I'm putting that on the cheeks for a pretty nice dewy natural blush. What? I was like so surprised with this. I actually love it and was very excited with the result. Now taking Crackle, I'm going to put this on the lower lash line with an E30. I'm just blending that out. And then I just felt like this look needed something else. And I was totally right. But I just didn't know what I wanted yet, so I just kind of sat there, did the rest of my makeup, and then just kind of figured it out. So I'm going to wipe that away. Now I'm using the Honey Illuminator by Mascara Beauty. And I'm going to put this on the cheekbones and you can see it gives a really nice and subtle glow it's a perfect base for if you want to have a super crazy highlight if you want to like put a powder over it which i will do right now but i'm going to blend this out and then i'm going to use tahiti and fiji from the 3d huda beauty highlight in golden sands and i'm using a morphe m501 brush to do this and we're highlighting the hell out of my face because it just looks so pretty then I'm bringing some warmth back in the cheeks with the KKW Beauty again, using that lighter shade and just kind of warming it up. Here is the fun part. I'm using Dirty Penny Space Taste, Space Paste by Lemonhead. And I'm just using a small angled brush and just kind of putting it on the corner of the eye where that wing meets. And we're just going to basically plop it on there. Um, I actually love this formula. It's super smudge proof, but if you mess up a little bit, it's kind of easy to take off. Like you kind of just use a little Q-tip and move it around. So don't be worried if you do mess up with this, but it's so weird. It's like a gel and it just sticks where you put it. It's awesome. 
and you don't need any adhesive or anything like that. It's amazing. I love it. And I love the way it made this look like pop. I'm using Vivek um, Audacious Lipstick by NARS. Picked it up, didn't think I was gonna use it, and then I ended up really liking it with the lip. With the look. So, putting that all over the lips very sexually. And then we're going to set the face with Tatcha's Dewy Mist Spray, my favorite. And that is it, you guys. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. I'm looking for suggestions for Halloween tutorials. I want to know what you guys want me to do. If you guys have any suggestions, please comment them below. I'm so interested in what you guys want to see. And if you guys have fully enjoyed me in this video, you guys can give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. So yeah, I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.